What's up, y'all? It's your girl Deja Janae XO, and I'm back with another video. So, today, as you can tell by the title, you already know what we're doing today. So, with me graduating in less than a month now, I've been at this school for four years. It's bittersweet that I'm graduating, but I've been here for four years now. So, I feel like, well, not I feel like I have a good grasp of everything that goes on in Statesboro. I have a good grasp of Georgia Southern in itself. So, I wanted to go ahead and make an updated. What was the name of that video? Um, I'm just basically gonna be telling y'all like my updated um, like pros and cons of Georgia Southern. And I'm not gonna repeat the same things that I said in the last video. So if you wanna know more pros and cons, you can also check that video. Well, you should check that video out as well. Um, this is just me adding on a few more things to that video, if that makes sense. Um, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to start with the positives because like why not start with the good stuff? Like why start with the bad stuff? But I'm going to go ahead and start with the positives. So the first thing I have on my list is a great education. I feel like graduating from this school, I can honestly say that I've been challenged like so much in all of my classes and I really feel like I learned stuff coming out of Georgia Southern. Now granted, you know, we're college students, you know, people, you know, get by in certain classes and certain classes you don't take serious but i can say that i can honestly say that i literally learned something that i can take into the real world and apply which if we don't have a choice like why we're in college to go and get a real world job so you have to learn real world stuff in college if that makes sense because like you know coming out of high school like yeah you learn stuff but like you really just learned it just to get by like you wasn't really trying to learn it you wasn't really interested in it so I would say that I feel like we have great teachers and that our classes are like not just not all of them I'm not gonna say because some classes are kind of easy just depends on the person but I feel like our teachers our professors challenge us basically which is a good thing um we have a beautiful 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 campus y'all they're actually building a new building right now it's probably gonna be done within like the next couple of months but our campus y'all is bomb okay like yeah we don't have like a uga campus or a, um auburn campus but our campus is nice like we have a really nice campus um i just took my graduation pictures last week and like i had a hard time deciding where i want to take my pictures because there's so many places on campus that you can take pictures because everything just looks so nice so yeah we have a nice campus and a nice um well our i guess our stadium is considered campus but we have a nice campus um the next thing i said is great housing so like i said this in my last video but even as freshmen like we live good as freshmen i feel like georgia southern really spoiled us yeah georgia southern has really spoiled us because like my freshman year um like i had my own room i mean i shared a bathroom but i only shared a bathroom with one person um so, I mean, that's not bad because some schools, you know, you share a bathroom with the whole hallway or you share a bathroom with, like, six girls or six boys or whatever. So, that was pretty good. It was apartment style. We had our own kitchen, living room, all of that. Even when I moved off campus, we're still spoiled because, like, I live in this apartment with three girls. It's four of us in all. I mean, we all have our own rooms. We all have our own bathrooms, kitchen, living room. Um, and our rent is really cheap. We don't pay any utilities and that's not for every apartment. So I don't want people to confuse that. That's not for every apartment, but here I don't pay utilities. I don't pay overages. I don't pay none of that. Like it's literally a flat, flat fee. So, and that's kind of good for me because like I leave my TV on all day. I leave my lights on all day. I leave stuff plugged up all day. So I feel like this is kind of spoiled me. So now when I go and get an apartment in Atlanta for real, for real, I'm going to be like, yo, I can't do the same things that I was doing. Rent out is cheap. I got to pay these overages. We're going to have to cut these lights off. We're going to have to cut this air down, stuff like that. So I feel like we have really great housing and that's all over like, um, like on campus and off campus. Um, the next thing I have is everything is so close. I stress this so much. When people ask me about Georgia Southern, I always stress this because I'm from Atlanta. I'm from the Atlanta area, College Park, Riverdale, you know, that little area. So, like, of course you make friends here. And so, like, when you, when y'all go back to Atlanta, like, go home for a break or something and y'all want to link up, it ain't traveling two minutes down the street to go to somebody's house to chill or traveling five minutes to go to like a bowling alley or something like in Atlanta we traveling 30 minutes to the person's house to link up then we got to travel like 30 more minutes to get to wherever we're gonna go like the movies bowling skating anything it's not right around the corner like how it is here like I love 
Atlanta. Like, I love my home and stuff, but, like, I hate going home now because, like, all my friends, like, when we do go home and link up, we have to drive so far to go places. Like, driving to the mall for me is, like, because I always go to either Lenox or, like, Cumberland. So, like, Cumberland's, like, 30 minutes, and Lenox is probably, like, 45 minutes because y'all know traffic going to Lenox is terrible. So, <sighs> So I would say that everything in Georgia, not in Georgia, <laughs> everything in Statesboro is pretty close. And I do love that about this school. Yeah. The next thing on my list is that everybody is really friendly. I think I said this in my last video, but I'm not sure. But I feel like for the most part, I'm not going to say everybody because realistically, everybody's not going to be friendly. But for the most part, I feel like we have a, yeah. Okay, I don't remember why I stopped, but I think I was saying like, realistically everybody's not friendly so like that's kind of a reach to say everybody's friendly but for the most part i feel like if you walk up to somebody on campus and be like hey like can you help me get here or, hey like you know just something like real like friendly i feel like nobody be like why is this girl talking to me or like i don't know or like get out of my face type stuff i feel like everybody's really friendly because i remember my freshman year i will never forget this day my freshman year it was my first day of class I was lost. And you know how they always say, you know, go to class the, before the first day of school so you can find out where your stuff at, blah, blah, blah. I was lost. I didn't know where I was going. So I had stopped and asked one girl. I was like, hey, you know, I'm a freshman. I don't know where I'm going. Can you tell me how to get to this building? And she literally walked me all the way to my building. So, like, stuff like that, I feel like it's easy to find here, like, if that makes sense. Because I know, like, even when I was just, like, the beginning of my senior year, I was, you know, really um, helpful when it came to, like, freshmen not knowing where they're going. Like, I took freshmen on tours and stuff like that. Like, I feel like, for the most part, everybody's pretty pretty friendly. Um, even on, like, social media and stuff, you know how you follow everybody who got the same, like, bio as you, like, hashtag GSU, hashtag Southern I State, whatever, whatever. Like, once y'all follow each other, like, everybody's pretty friendly. Like, on Twitter, you post a picture, they be like, hey, girl, like, you cute. Or if you see them on, in camp, on, if you see them in person on campus, they be like, ain't you the girl from Instagram, blah, 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 like, stuff like that. So, yeah, I would say everybody is really, really friendly. Um... The next thing I said was black businesses. And I basically said, like, for the most part, I feel like everybody's pretty much supportive of black businesses that we have on campus. Like, yeah, we go to a PWI, so it's not that many of us here. I mean, it's a good number of us here, but it's not, like, you know, majority or whatever. Um, And so, like, you know, college, you know, you got to make some money. So everybody's starting their little businesses or whatever. And I feel like we are really supportive of each other because, like, instead of us going, like, online and shopping for something will like try to see who does it on campus first and try to support them or whatever like i know this girl um shop bright black y'all follow her y'all shop with her but she does like the little um extended legged extended leggings or whatever and so like anytime i see somebody on twitter like who does this who does that like i always you know try to mention her or whatever or like this for example like i took my um graduation pictures for i took my graduation pictures last week like i said and um, I wanted a shirt that says Georgia Southern, so like instead of me going to the bookstore trying to buy a Georgia Southern shirt or like going on Instagram, I mean not Instagram, going on like, um, what is it, Amazon trying to find a shirt, like I hit this girl up on campus, y'all shop her at Custom by E&O, I think, if I'm wrong, I'll put it in the description box, but she made this shirt for me and it was really cute, I really love it, and she also made another shirt for me for my um, graduation pictures, my Delta shirt, it was like half red, half white, so y'all shop for her, um, what else? Who else do I shop with on campus? There's just it's just like a lot of people, like people who do food. It's like a variety of businesses that we have on this campus that people are supportive of. So that's another good thing. I also have that this school has some of the best school spirit that I have ever seen in my life. Like, yeah, nobody really. No, I'm not even gonna say that because people always go to the football games, but like. You know how, like, in high school, like, you go to the football games because, like, your friends going or, like, you know people on the football, on the team or whatever. Like, here, like, yeah, you might know people on the team, but it's not, like, you probably don't have, like, no close relationship with most of them, like, how it is in high school. But, like, when I tell y'all, football games, basketball games be so packed, like, folks be showing support for real. And, like, I say school spirit because you'll see all the Georgia Southern apparel, all the Eagle apparel, all the blue and white, all the gold, all the everything at the games. Like, and it's not like people just go to the games and just sit there chill. Like, people are actually up on their feet, like, cheering. Like, it's, it's going to games are fun. The only reason I don't like football games is because it's too hot. But if it was cooler, I would definitely go to more, well, football season is over. But I would have definitely went to more football games. But the school spirit is, like, top notch in this period. 
um free stuff y'all we get so much free stuff at this school it's ridiculous like i might need to do a video just to show y'all all the free shirts i got since i've been here like of course i've thrown some out because like i have too many and i don't have nowhere to put them but like we get so much stuff free food free shirts free this free phone cases free car holders free ugh, we get a lot of free stuff like literally y'all who don't like free stuff because i know i do i like free stuff um pool parties uh i want to say georgia southern has some pretty good pool parties um there are some that's like you know a flop but for the most part pool parties be pretty lit um i mean once again we are black people you know how black people are they don't like to get in the pool get their hair wet or whatever but some people actually do get in the pool like you'll be seeing people like getting thrown in the pool or whatever whatever but pool parties do be lit so the last thing I have on my list is like a personal favorite because it just hits home. But the best, best, best part about this campus is that we have Deltas on the yard, okay? <laughs> you know, your girl is a lady of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And that's just the best part about this campus, you know? When you see the reds, you just be like, dang, okay, like, okay, they lit, like, they look good, they handling their business and stuff like that. So yeah i think that's the best part about this campus not to toot my own horn or whatever um and yeah so that's pretty much all of the positives that i've have that i have written down and y'all this is like a quick list that i made like really quick so of course i didn't list everything and then like i said i didn't want to name some stuff that i put in my old, my other video so yeah make sure y'all check that one out as well but we're gonna go ahead and get into the negatives because i don't want this video to be too too long so we're gonna just you know run through them so the first thing i have is that since my freshman year the party scene has declined a lot so i know before i even got to this school everybody when you hear georgia southern everybody used to be like oh that's a party school are oh, you going to that party school georgia, blah 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 georgia southern party 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 that's all i heard when i when i was like in, a senior in high school that's all i heard when i was telling people like where i was going so then freshman year you know like yeah we had parties like it was cool like freshman year was the most fun i have ever had since being in college but like literally every year it declines like more and more like the whole party scene declines more and more um now since i've been here literally every single club that we went to is closed down like midtown closed hangout closed um what else used to be open other stuff like everything is closed except one place that they just opened and i mean it's kind of small so nobody really like i mean people go but it's not like how it used to be when we were freshmen um so yeah like and then like house parties get shut down like yeah they was getting shut down freshman year too but like now like it's getting shut down for real and they will give you a ticket and they won't care um homecoming gets lamer and lamer every year like my last homecoming was terrible homecoming before that it was like homecoming before that was a little bit better and like freshman year homecoming was the best like i said um but i mean it is what it is like you can make fun like with just your friends just at the house chilling and stuff but parties are mm, i'm not mm, i don't know i can't really you'll have to see for yourself um i put that it's hot like y'all statesboro heat i always say statesboro heat is a different type of heat um if you're from atlanta the atlanta area you know like it'd be hot but i'm telling y'all you don't know heat till you come to statesboro for real Unless you come from like Texas, because I heard Texas heat is way, 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 way worse. So that's that. But if you come from like up north to come up to Statesboro, you gonna be like, whoa, this this is something different. I ain't used to this. Um, especially in the summertime when we first get to school, like August, September, it's literally you you want to die. Like you don't want to even leave the house because when you leave the house, as soon as you come back inside, like you take so many showers in the summertime, it don't make no sense because you sweat that much down here. And I'm not joking. I'm being so serious. Um, I put, even though I said in the positives that we have like a great education here, I also put down here that we have hard classes. So like, I didn't, I wouldn't even say that's kind of a negative. It's like a negative that leads to a positive. Cause like, yes, we have hard classes, but it pushes you to, you know, get that job that you need later on. So I put that as negatives because like, you might think that you coming in here, like how you was in high school, you know, you study two hours before the test and you're gonna pass that's not how it is here i don't know how it is at any other school because like i only went here but your classes are going to require you to actually put the work in depending on your major like i can only speak for certain majors because like i've experienced it myself or like have friends that have been through that type of 
situation as well but you're not gonna come in here thinking you can escape through like it's not that simple like you have to actually put the work in for your um to get the grades that you want um i put that our campus is slick big like, our campus is really not that big but it's big so like if you have class on one end of campus and then 15 minutes later you have a class at the other end of campus like you're probably gonna be late maybe five minutes late but you're probably still gonna be late like our campus is really not that big like you can walk to class you don't even have to catch the bus like you can walk but it's gonna take you a little minute to get there if that makes sense like it's it, you know um i this is a personal experience for me i don't know how it is for everybody else but me personally since my freshman year i have rarely left class early or had canceled classes like i can probably say my whole time being in college i probably only had 10 canceled classes and that's eight semesters and i've only had and i don't even know how many days i did so that's a lot but i've only probably had like 10 canceled classes and i rarely leave class early like if i leave if i if we do get dismissed early it'll it might be like 15 minutes 20 minutes at the most um, the only times I really leave early is when we have like test days and you know after you take your test you can leave but that's pretty much it. Um, oh I said that there is nothing to do. So Statesboro is really small if y'all don't know and I don't and I know like I said earlier I said everything is really close but there's really nothing to be close to because we don't have anything down here like yeah we have a movie theater yeah we have a bowling alley you know laser tag and stuff like that but there's really nothing else to do like we don't have a good mall we don't have like skating rinks we don't have like what else we have in Atlanta like I don't know just like a lot of fun stuff we really don't have like in order to have fun you really have to make your own fun like with your friends or you know going to events or programs or whatever but there's really not much to do down here like yes granted there is stuff that you can do like you can have fun you can do stuff but it's not like what you expect if you're coming from Atlanta or even savannah because savannah has a lot more stuff like if we want to really do something we travel to savannah to go which is an hour away so that's that and the last thing that i have on this list is that we have this thing called eagle express and so basically our school is partnered with different restaurants around town and so we pay georgia southern like depending on what package you get but i pay georgia southern 350 dollars for them to give me an eagle express card and i can use that eagle express card at restaurants around town i hope that makes sense but the only downside about that is like yeah they have some good places on there but rarely do they have like good places or the places that they do have eagle express sometimes they don't work or you just get tired of eating the same thing it's like we can't use it at wendy's okay so you can only use it at places like moe's chili's and sonic those are not really only three places that i did Oh, and um, El Som, which is a Mexican restaurant. Those are really the only four places that I use my Eagle Express at. But, like, Nats, A-Town, um, what else? Wendy's, um, Popeye's. Like, you can't use it at any of those places. So, that's kind of a downside to Eagle Express. But, I mean, it is what it is. You don't have to pay for it. It's not mandatory. That's just something that I pay for. And that's just something that I don't like. Because Chili's Eagle Express was literally down for a whole semester, bro. A whole semester. Like, What? But yeah, that's pretty much all of the negatives that I had aside from the ones that I said in the last video. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it was very informative. I need to start making more of these videos because I know like y'all are starting to choose what schools y'all want to go to. So y'all are like researching um, like, you know, the schools that you want to go to or whatever. So videos like this are really helpful. So I'm going to start making more within these next couple of weeks so y'all can this can help y'all decide what school y'all want to go to i do love my school anybody ever asked me um should i go to georgia southern i definitely recommend my school i really loved it i had a great time here and i'm so sad that i'm about to graduate i'm about to leave everybody i'm about to be on my own but um i really did enjoy my time here at georgia southern um even with the cons it still is a great school i definitely recommend it had the time of my life met some great people yeah i just love it so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see me do a video on a different topic, y'all comment that down below because I'll be wanting to make these videos, but I don't be knowing what to talk about. So, y'all let me know what y'all want to see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I will see y'all in my next one. So, until next time, peace.